solid ground. Let's hear the results, Mark. Let's hear them. In the case of five-month-old Desiree, Corey, you are the father. <laughs> So greetings black kings and black queens first I had to get let me just get into that clip really quickly I mean we know that famous line right <laughs> Murray saying you are not the father <laughs> or in this case you are the father and then <laughs> we know that people tend to act a fool on his stage get the running get the car wheeling get the flipping moonwalking doing a worm all kinds of stuff right um so that is <laughs> Um, part of my frame of reference for you know my my first video um, we see shows like this all the time right um, paternity court divorce court Maury we used to see um, um, what's your boy's name that used to always um, Jerry Springer so people like that where you know they're a little more controversial or a little um, their talk shows that are not necessarily centered around news and things of that nature so after showing you all that clip I'm gonna get right into today's topics Greetings black kings and black queens. Welcome to my channel. Um, if you've been here before, thank you for returning. If you are new to my channel, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, so right now I just want to get right on into it. First, I want to say happy International Women's Day. So yeah, shout out all the beautiful queens. So today's video is going to be on my part two of my um, black family unit video that I started. Um, for Black History Month. So it's just a lot of good things happening in Black History Month. And I said, there's no way to talk about Black History without talking about Black families. So with that being said, um, my last video, I received some really amazing comments um, in the comment section. So I thank you for those of you who just took the time to watch the video. I thank you for all of you who commented. And then I thank you for some of you who are super transparent and just sharing some of your own personal experiences as it related to your Black family, um, your family dynamic, um, the type of household, you know, structure that you were brought up in. Um, just some really, really good stuff. I had one of... Um, my viewers you know she shared that she was brought up um in a single family home and how you know some of the things that i spoke about you know that she could kind of relate and they were true to her um and that um you know there was some type of you know toxic toxicity toxicity um amongst her parents which obviously you know um trickled down to her or at least she you know she was observant of it she was aware of it things of that nature so that was just some of the things that that i talked about in my last video another thing is um as far as my my re my sources right i'm not looking at anybody directly anything specifically i've already made it clear that i am a teacher i teach you know in an urban setting um with um let's just say 50 percent african americans 50% Latinos, right? Um, so I'm definitely around, you know, a good diverse amount of um, children, you know, children who brought up in two parent households and children who were brought up in a single parent household. Um, and what I wanted to say about that is that I've also, you know, another source for me <laughs> um, is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite TV shows that I used to watch. I'm, I'm guessing in the summertime because I'm like, when did you ever have time to watch this? It airs at 11 o'clock. <laughs> Um, but paternity court, I love my girl, Judge Lauren Lakes. Um, she is the bomb. <laughs> she deals with a lot of shenanigans. Um, if you've ever seen a show, a lot of stuff happens in her courtroom. Um, but certainly it's centered around black families, the black family unit, um, and sadly broken black family units, right? So hopefully nobody, you know, takes things personal and they're looking like, oh, okay. Um, I also want to be clear that in my last video, obviously, like, I'm not making a dig towards anybody. I'm not trying to be critical or judgmental of anybody or my community for sure. You know, I'm just always brainstorming and thinking of ways that can just make us better, that can bring us together, that can make us stronger. Um, hopefully y'all can not hear that car alarm, <laughs> um, but it's already gone off a few times. <laughs> Um, but I'm always just brainstorming, like, how can we be better as a people, right? And so I always say it starts with the foundation and the foundation of our, our 
structure is just our family structure, right? Um, and then I just think about, you know, two family households and all the benefits that come with that and how people are vastly, you know, the outcome of children brought up in two family households are vastly different from the outcomes of young people who are brought up in single family households. Not to say that anything is po impossible, you know, nothing is impossible. Um, I think that if you're brought up in a single fam family household, certainly you have different, I don't even know what the word is, but you have a different muscle that you have worked, right? As a young person having to deal with certain things. And so it just, sometimes, you know, it gives you that much more determination, that much more tenacity, that much more um, willpower to say that I don't want to repeat this pattern or I don't want to struggle the way I saw my mom struggle. I don't want to struggle the way I saw my grandfather struggle. Whoever it was that was the, the breadwinner in the family or whoever it was that was the um, primary caregiver in the family, you, you just say, I want something different for myself. You know what I mean? And so sometimes, yes, that is the benefit. So I would never say that just because you were brought up in a single family household doesn't mean you can't, um, that you're not destined for greatness. It just might be a little harder. It might um, take a little extra work. You know, you're going to have less, maybe have less resources depending, right? So I'm going to play a few clips. I'm going to give you my commentary and then um, I'll sum it all up at the end. Out of the blue, she says that someone else could be your father. I was definitely devastated. Me and her dad had broken up. I uh, found out like I was almost three months pregnant. You knew in your mind that you were not certain who your daughter's father was. True. Said I might have a daughter. But you have never met this man. Not a day in my life. If you hadn't run into him on this bus, you were gonna go to your grave with your daughter thinking. And that's exactly what she said. Okay, so hopefully y'all and you know took the time to look at that clip. I don't have too much to say about it, but I'm gonna just say this, and this ties into my other video when I just say like, oh, you know, sometimes it just um, portrays the fact that we're just horny people. You know what I'm saying? So that's not even an issue, right? The issue is not like the sex that you're having or how much sex that you're having. The issue is like protecting yourself, right? Because ultimately, the decisions that we make. Um, as adults, they affect other people, you know what I'm saying? And little people that don't have any control over anything, right? And didn't have any role in <laughs> anything, right? Um, so that's why I just think it's important for us to think about it like this decision that you're doing in this moment, like it doesn't just affect you. So, you know, for me, the, the simple you know, the simple response, the simple answer is just a contraceptive, right? However you choose to do that, just to make sure that you're saying like, oh, okay, I'm not just bringing kids into this world. I don't know who the daddy is. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I can't feed him or her. I can't clothe him or her, you know, and things like that, right? And then you take your stress and your frustration out on your child when, again, they didn't ask to be here because you wanted to participate in an act that you, you know, didn't really protect yourself from or prepare yourself for. So um, I just think that that's important, right? So not just, you know, the, the point in my other video was just not like, oh, okay, sex, 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 right? Like, oh, that's everybody's just doing it. But what's the harm in protecting yourself, right? Because that costs a lot, <laughs> a lot less, <laughs> right, than raising a child. Whether it's birth control, whether it's condoms, whatever, form of birth control or contraceptive that you use is a lot more inexpensive <laughs> than raising a life, <laughs> raising a child, raising a human being, right? So that's what I just wanted to, for us to kind of think about as we make our decisions doing what it is that grownups do. He was messing with her, he was messing with me. Right, and now she pregnant, this might be his baby. Did you have sex with me and my cousin though? We dealing with babies that's trying to see if you their dad, okay? Don't play. And it might be his because at the time that I was with my boyfriend, I was messing around with him. She left my nah. cousin for me. So either you or your cousin, Mr. Goodson, is the father. Yes, ma'am. Ever since I had my son, he meant denying him. You say she was doing whatever, and then some other guy says, that's my son. Okay, y'all, so for this next clip, you already saw there were three babies in involved, so already that's unfortunate, right? You have these three little people, um, old enough or not old enough, you know, it's just like, you don't know who their father is. That's very, very unfortunate, right? Everybody, you know, knowing who your parents are, that very much plays a role in 
your identity, right? How you view yourself, how you identify yourself, um, how you classify yourself, different things like that. So when our young people don't know who their parents are, you know, they already start to struggle with issues of identity, you know, self-worth, self-esteem, all of these other things, right? So for one, you heard him talking about, oh, she did it to my cousin, he did it to her cousin, everybody's doing it to everybody's cousins. To me, that is very incestual, it's very nasty, <laughs> right? And it's just so crazy as, young people like you think that this is like the right response to infidelity right you think that this is how you should conduct yourself you know as young people to say that okay well you mess around my cousin i'm gonna mess around with yours right and then we also know as women right and judge my girl judge lauren lake she says it all the time um you what is it mommy's baby daddy's maybe right like the woman ultimately like you have the child you're stuck with the child you have to carry the child and then you birth the child so certainly there's no question about the um maternity right of the child but then when you're saying like oh i slept with these three guys or these many guys and i'm really not totally sure like for one that's not a good look for two <laughs> you didn't you didn't ask any of them to use protection you know what i mean like how are you protecting yourself like what are you doing in your body you know what i'm saying to me it just sounds like a bunch of diseases a bunch of stds a bunch of nastiness you know what i mean when you just out here like that right and then of course my ultimate point is not even like whatever your sexual habits are like you do you but then like when you don't protect yourself that's when we get young people involved children involved who don't know um who their parents are who their father is you know um or or their parents denying them right like oh because she she was out here or because you chose to sleep with somebody who you knew was out here because y'all was messing around and not in a committed relationship or um didn't commit to each other at least sexually now you denying your child because you know you didn't protect yourself so to me it's just like very easy very simple denominator which is if you protect yourself like a lot of this can be avoided Another thing I noticed in this clip was that um, the mother, she checked her son, and rightfully so, right? Talking about, um, we, this is nothing to play with. We not here on games, like you talking mess, blah, 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 to this young lady. We talking about the paternity of a child. But then, of course, you have to think, right? Like, where is his father? You know what I'm saying? Like, it almost looks like, and not to say his father couldn't have been at work, I don't know. But, you know, why wouldn't it be nice for this young man to have the support of his dad, right? Who would, you know, be able to relate a little better. Because obviously that mom can relate to this woman, right? <laughs> um, who had to carry the child and things of that nature, right? But it almost, it could look like history repeating itself, right? So when you make those poor decisions or your parents make those poor decisions and you really don't have a, a model of what you should do or what... Um, a, a two-parent household could look like or a strong black family unit could look like then you tend to do what you see right you tend to mimic exactly what you see or the way the same way in which you were brought up and you say okay well i did okay you know i made it out all right i'm going to do the same thing so things like that i kind of hate you know what i'm saying so it's just like almost to me very important also that we break these generational curses and you know say like okay well this is what how I was raised, but this is not what I want for my kids. This is not what I want for myself as an adult. You know what I'm saying? This is not what I want for my pockets <laughs> as a grown man, right? Paying child support. This is not what I want for my pockets as a grown woman, right? Nobody wants to work every day to have someone tell them, oh, in addition to the taxes that you pay to us, now you have to send us a check that we're going to forward over to whoever ever because of a child that you created, a child that you made. You know what I mean? So it's just a lot of stuff that comes with poor decision making, having unprotected sex, and just not, um, you know, making babies without the idea that I want to, you know, structure my family in such a way um, where my child is going to be set up for the best outcome. You know what I mean? Does life happen? Absolutely. You know, can you, everything is not guaranteed. People do get married with every intention of staying together and having a two-parent two household or um, a family um, that is, you know, under one roof, and that doesn't always happen. You know what I'm saying? But when you're doing stuff like <laughs> how, these, how, did, how this situation was where everybody doing each other, then certainly, you know, you have to understand with sex that's not protected comes children right that's nature that's that's the natural the natural uh effect right there's a cause and effect and that's the natural thing that happens so um 
yeah so this is just another like example of, like where i get my stuff from again it's just not like oh i'm looking at oh this person or that person and i'm making you know assumptions or assertions it's just like you know you see these things um judge lauren lakes i know she has upwards of eight seasons right <laughs> so this is not an uncommon thing you know what i'm saying not that all of her episodes are about black families because they're not um, but what I'm just saying is this happens way too often um, in the black community. And I just think it's important for us to try to change that narrative, for us to just be more conscious of the decisions that we're making and that we make decisions to really strengthen our community, to strengthen our own families, to strengthen the people around us, to strengthen our babies, our young people. So those are my, that's my two cents. Um, definitely, it's going to be another part to this video. Um, as I mentioned, you know, I'm try to make it a series with so much going on in our community. So many things just to talk about so many things that are relevant to today nonetheless thank y'all for watching thank y'all for listening leave a comment below please turn on post notifications subscribe all that good stuff this is miss v signing out